Beyonce and Jay-Z have been one of Hollywood's hottest couples for a while now, but sometimes Jay-Z can be a bit too outspoken. Here are the top 10 times Jay-Z embarrassed Beyonce in public. First off, we have the 2024 Grammys. While Jay-Z was accepting his award, he took his mic time to look at his wife, Beyonce, in the audience and ask the Grammys why they have never given her album of the year. People were stunned, and so was Beyonce. Body language expert Judy James told The Mirror that Beyonce tried to hide her facial expressions with her white hat during her husband's acceptance speech. The expert believes that, quote, a loyal husband can be a dangerous thing. No no matter how much they show love, plus an intrinsic drive to defend and protect. Judy shared that most women of today's era would prefer to stand up for themselves. Quote, you can argue Jay-Z has his heart somewhere in the right place in terms of valor, but Beyonce's frozen looking symmetric smile seems to hint that she might just be feeling as mortified as many women would. She added, Judy shared, moaning about not getting an award means next year's awards will be poignant for Beyonce. If she fails again, she'll be hurt. But if she wins it, the hint will be that Jay-Z nailed it for her, rather than her own talent. Beyonce holds the record of winning the most Grammys ever, however, she has never received the Album of the Year award. Next up, we have Jay-Z's cheating scandal. In 2013, rumors came out that the rapper had been cheating, and then there was hashtag ElevatorGate that trended when Solange Knowles attacked Jay-Z while sister Beyonce stayed silent. More recently, Jay-Z's album 444 alluded to him being unfaithful. He wrote, Look, I apologize. Often woman eyes took for my child to be born to see through a woman's eyes. The rapper and Beyonce had planned to do a joint album, but ended up doing solo records instead. We were using our art mostly like a therapy session, and we started making music together. And then the music she was making at that time was further along. So so her album came out as opposed to the joint album that we were working on. Next up, we have the Lance Rivera situation. In 1999, Jay-Z was arrested for, let's just call this, putting a knife into somebody, into the young record executive Lance Rivera. Jay-Z believed Rivera distributed bootlegged copies of his then unreleased album, The Life and Times of S. Carter, which was not supposed to hit stores until later. After committing the crime, Jay-Z turned himself into the police accompanied by his lawyer. A witness to the altercation said Jay-Z walked up to Rivera and said, Lance, you broke my heart. Rivera responded with, what? Before Jay-Z pulled out the knife, according to the witness. Jay-Z pled guilty and faced a three-year sentence of probation. Next, we have the fact that Jay-Z was a substance dealer, we'll call it, in his teenage years. Speaking to Vanity Fair, Jay-Z opened up about his past, admitting that he was dealing substances to make ends meet. It was everywhere. It was inescapable. There wasn't any place you could go for isolation or a break, he said in an interview. You go in the hallway, there are people using in the hallway. You look out in the puddles, on the curbs, everywhere. Jay-Z admitted that while he made a living selling substances, he never once used them. Jay-Z claimed that he did learn some of the business practices he does today from his time dealing the substances. I know about budgets. I was a dealer. To be in a deal, you need to know what you can spend, what you need to re-up. Next up, let's talk about Jay-Z suing Rita Ora for alleging that she still owed four more albums. Famous singer Rita Ora was sued by Jay-Z's album label, Rock Nation, with Ora alleging the company lost interest after they focused their attention on other ventures such as streaming service Tidal and also a sports management company. Rock Nations claimed they sunk millions into Rita's career and that she owes them four more albums. Ora signed with Rock Nation in 2008 while she was an unknown artist and agreed to deliver five albums and has only produced one. Aura's attorney, Howard King, said Jay-Z promised Aura, quote, total freedom from the label. In a statement, King believes that Sony Music made Rock Nation file the action to preserve whatever rights Sony had. Rock Nation alleged it was a breach of contract and they demanded $2 million plus be given back along with unspecified damages for the four undelivered albums. The lawsuit was settled between the two parties with Rita Ora possibly signing with a new music label.
Next, let's discuss Jay-Z being arrested for gun possession. In April of 2001, Jay-Z and three other men were arrested outside a Manhattan nightclub and held on charges of illegal gun possession. Police said that Jay-Z was detained when his bodyguard Hamza Hewitt was allegedly found with a firearm in his waistband. Hewitt, Jay-Z, and two other individuals were all charged with third-degree criminal possession. The case was delayed until October 2001 when Jay-Z entered a a plea of not guilty and was found not to have been part of the possession, but did face three years probation for his 1999 incident with Rivera, which we just talked about. Jay-Z also went under fire for his decision to host his famous Oscars after party in 2022 at the controversial Chateau Marmont Hotel. Every year, the rapper hosts one of the starriest parties of the night, known as the Gold Party, with attendees in previous years, including Rihanna, Reese Witherspoon, Kanye West, and Kim MK. His last party, which was held pre in 2020 was at the Chateau Marmont. But Jay-Z's plans to throw the 2022 event in a lounge space at the Sunset Strip Hotel have been met with criticism due to an ongoing boycott of the property by some of its workers and celebrity guests over alleged racial discrimination at the venue. Kurt Peterson, the boss of workers union Unite Here Local, said in a statement, quote, for Jay-Z to choose the Chateau Marmont for the gold party is shockingly insensitive. Sensitive. They must move their event and choose an after-party hotspot that treats its workers, especially black women, with dignity and respect. Jay-Z has a responsibility to do better, he added. We hope Jay-Z joins Gabrielle Union, Issa Rae, Quinta Bronson, Ashley Nicole Black, and boycotting Chateau Marmont. The union even organized a picket line outside the bash beginning at 8 p.m. the night of the party. In 2020, The Hollywood Reporter published an investigation of allegations against the Chateau Marmont with employees claiming that black and Latino visitors were stopped and questioned when they were arrived more than white guests. Claims that were confirmed by a representative for comedian Tiffany Haddish. The Chateau's law firm said at the time that workplace issues are regularly raised as at any business and swiftly investigated and addressed, adding that a whistleblower line is in place for employees to report issues or concerns directly to outside integrity counsel. Next, let's discuss 4040, Jay-Z's old nightclub. His nightclub 4040 was reported to have bounced checks. In 2003, reports claimed that two companies filed separate lawsuits against Jay-Z's nightclub for a total of 46,000 US dollars in unpaid bills to the two businesses that complained, claiming that they received rubber checks from 21's Inc the rapper's company. Ronald Mark Associates was to be paid 18 grand for manufacturing 30 custom tables, but only received 5,000. Ron Berkowitz, a spokesman for 4040, downplayed the allegations claiming the bouncing checks are a bum rap. Berkowitz said one suit was settled for $8,000 on November 2nd, 2003. The second lawsuit was without merit, but said they were countersuing Ronald Mark Associates after they couldn't deliver tables as promised before for the opening night. The next point is a bit shocking. Jay-Z reportedly S-H-O-T his own brother when Jay-Z was only 12 years old. He said he did it because his brother stole one of his rings. How did he get the firearm? I went to someone's crib, someone's house, and got it, Jay-Z said, explaining how easy it was at the time to acquire a firearm. They were everywhere. You didn't have to go far to get one. They were just everywhere. After doing this to his brother, he believed he was going to jail, but his sibling refused to press charges charges and ended up apologizing to his brother because he was an addict. It was terrible. I was a boy, a child. I was terrified, he said in the interview. Lastly, let's discuss how he reportedly punched a female fan in 1999 at one of his concerts. Yikes. In footage from Jay-Z's concert film, Backstage, a scene from part of the film shows Jay-Z striking a young female fan back in 1999. The rapper appears to slap and then push her in front of him as he walks down a corridor with his entourage. A spokeswoman for the rapper says that the footage was being taken out of context. Speaking to the New York Daily News, she said, quote, the person in that video is someone who he's worked with for years and they are very, very close. And for it to be exerted like that is an insult. Well, thank you guys for watching today's video. Subscribe for more celebrity.